Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then hello, welcome, it's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. So grab yourselves a nice drink, hot drink, coffee, tea. Mine's water in my Emma Bridge water mug, just because I'm trying to be so original. No, I just had some tablets and I thought I better not have no Pepsi or tea. So I've got some water. Let's get yourself a nice little drink. A drink. Get yourself a shrink and some snacks, and let's get into the video. So, as promised in my home bargain haul yesterday, um, I'm going to be doing a craft with the bunch of flowers I got from Home Bargains in the Mother's Day section for two ninety nine. Um, but you can get them anywhere. They're doing a lot in the pound shop at the moment as well. And also using the luxury um, car steering wheel cover um, for one ninety nine in Home Bargains. Now you can also get car steering wheel covers in loads of other shops, including the pound shop. Um, this one's a luxury one, so it's quite sturdy. And there's a reason why I'm not showing you it is because I've done a little bit of the hard work already. So what I'm going to be doing today is making a really rustic, so you could use this for a wedding or you could use it as a table centerpiece. I'm going to use mine as a wreath for the door. Um, but rather than using my normal wreath, I will do that for Easter. I thought this would be a really nice little accompaniment either in Millie's bedroom, it looked really cute. And it's a really cheap way to make a wreath without having to buy a wreath to do it with. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun. I'm not making no sense. I'm going to get my hot glue gun ready, plugged in nice and hot so the glue can suck it in hot. And what I've done is, is I've got some twine that I got from the pound um, from the pound shop in the garden section, some twine, and I've wrapped it all the way round my car steering wheel. Um, so I've left a little bit exposed, so you can still see it definitely is that. So the leather car steering wheel, I've seen people try and do this with hula hoops, and they tend to go, they tend to collapse because of the weight, like when you put things on them. Um, but I've just done it with this because I think it's like a really nice size. It's nice and large, but at the same time, it's really sturdy. So I'm just going to get my scissors. I'm actually using pair of my blunt ones today. Get a little bit more jute cut. And I'm going to finish this little bit off just so you can see what I'm doing. I didn't want to do it completely in case she was just like, that isn't the car steering wheel. You're lying to us. That isn't the car steering wheel. You've, you've bought something. So I'm just going to wrap them all together like that, cover up. Oh, what am I doing? I'll go that way. Continue with the, the direction. I bring them down, I can wrap that over it. It doesn't really matter if this last little bit here is not too perfect, to be honest, because I'm going to be... Um, sticking stuff to it anyway. Just making sure the majority of it's done. And then on this little section as well, this is gonna, I'm gonna put this to the side. This is gonna be where I'm gonna put some of my flowers. So look, you end up with a nice um, wreath form. Now also, you could get some string, hang it this way and have the flowers dangling down. Have it like a sort of like, you know, like a wedding on above a table, have like it hanging. Loads of little bits draped from it, ribbons. But this is gonna be a floral wreath. So I'm loving these flowers. You can pick these off of this. I'm just going to pull them off by pulling the stems up. Pulling them off so I've got the really beautiful flowers. These are really lovely little peonies that you get on these. I'm also going to be using the foliage that comes with them as well. I think that falls off. Yeah, nicely that does. i using some of the foliage. So I just want to separate all the flowers. Get them all off of these sort of like bits. Eucalyptus spread as well. Little rose. Oh, there's some fern on this as well, which is really nice. And we've got some like little yellow ones. I don't know if I'm going to use these yellow ones. We'll see. Um, see how we're feeling as we get on. So I'm going to put them to the side. But what I am going to start off with first is I'm going to get a little bit of the eucalyptus because I want to get like a bit of a rounded shape around this. This is going to be the side, or you could have this at the bottom. Both would look really nice. So I'm going to. Twist this over, I've got hot glue going nice and hot now. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue onto the twine. And press my eucalyptus down onto it. <laughs> really. I might even wrap that round. Tuck that in a bit. No, nope, I might just trim it then. 
See, that's one thing you will always get with me, is me messing stuff up. And then I'm going to get another one of the eucalyptuses, but I'm going to put it round about here at the bottom, going in the opposite direction. I'm just going to glue that onto it and press it in. Sort of going round. I might even add a little bit of extra glue as well and just sort of like press this bit down to keep it nice and flat. I quite like it when it sticks up from the... A bit more glue on that bit. I think where I was fiddling around with the, um, the metal wire. Hold it on till it's nice and set. Doesn't normally take that long. See? Press it on. It's not, it's not hot now. Just a little bit there. Right, so we've got two little bits of wire, it's looking a bit shoddy and a little bit random. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of eucalyptus and bring it out even further, like adding it into this side here. So I'm going to add another little bit of glue. I've got to put another glue stick in. You can get glue sticks and then glue guns. I was telling my friend, I have said it a few times on here, but she needed to get a new glue gun. And I was saying they do them in the pound shop, and big packets of the glue sticks in the pound shop as well. So that's really good. And I'm going to stick that leaf from the other bunch on top of that just to disguise the glue. And then on this side, I think I'm going to add a couple of these stems that have come from the rose bunch. So I'm going to utilise all of these sort of stems and flowers and add them in. So I'm going to add on this side these leaves. They've got some really good bunches of flowers in there at the moment. And I just thought, when I see the cast steering wheel, I thought, how cute is that? It's literally $1.99, and then that is going to be a perfect reef form for like a rustic kind of like reef. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the reef and stick another set of the leaves on as well. Making sure the eucalyptus sits nicely on top. Gonna really fill this out. And then to give it a little bit more symmetry, I'm gonna add a few of the like rose leaves on top there. It's just sort of like filling it out at the bottom to get a really nice shape. And I can't wait to hang this on my door. Also, what's really nice about these is I bought some eggs from Home Bargains as well in my whole um from yesterday, really lovely bright eggs. And in the Easter, you can sort of like, in the Easter, when it is Easter, you can sort of stick some of the eggs on this as well. So I'm just filling it up. I don't know where I'm gonna put the fern. I'm thinking perhaps like there. I'm gonna fold that over. Wrap that round itself a bit. Let's get rid of that metal, because my metal wire cutters, they've gone dodgy as well. I think I need a little trip, actually, to Hobbycraft and the tool shop. To get some of my tools going. Let's put some nice bit of glue there and put my fern on top there. It's starting to come together like really bulky now, looking really lovely. So this is going to cost you a fiver. I mean, if you don't have the twine already, then obviously it's going to cost you to get the twine, which is another pound, but six pound. But you wouldn't be able to get a really beautiful spring reef like this anywhere for that price. Um, and I've also got some of these little stemmy bits so I'm gonna keep gluing bringing it down filling out any little sparse areas I need filling in making sure to try and put something similar on the opposite side because even though I don't want them exactly symmetrical I want them to have a little bit of a flow I want it to flow quite nicely I'm also going to be showing you tomorrow I'm doing an extra video tomorrow and I'm going to be showing everyone um, the boys' bedroom update. So their new furniture, I'll put the links and stuff for the IKEA website, where they're from and stuff. None of it was gifted, we paid for it. Um, but there's some really, really lovely pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna put that stem there to block that out underneath the roses. Yes, I am. I'm gonna fill that bit up with another glue stick. I'm putting quite a bit of glue on. But how cute is that idea? Just a little, a little like um, car steering wheel, and you can make your own reefs. You could literally use this in the in the winter, like when I done my bauble reef. You can make something like that. Put baubles to it. Anything really. Add that to it. 
add little little Easter bunnies, it would look really, really cute. So now I'm gonna add the flowers. Now the flowers are really beautiful and I kind of want these peonies to be the showpiece of this. Um, so I'm thinking of putting these central, one slightly lower on the roof and then the other one slightly higher. So that one's kind of smaller. This one looks a little bit smaller. So I think I'll stick that one there. Press it really hard, make sure it's stuck down nice. And then I'm gonna put the other one, move that leaf a bit, leave it up and put that one there. Um, yeah, put loads of glue there. Make sure I can stick it down. See a little bit of the, the twine so I know it's gonna definitely get stuck down. And then stick that one down as well in place. Are we sticking? Yep, I think we are. Sticking down. Also, I think this might be the time to add a little bit of yellow. I think that yellow, these little yellow stems would look quite nice. I'm not going to add tons of these actually, just a couple. So I'm going to move that leaf, put a little bit of glue in and just shove one of these ones into the glue and press it down just to add a little bit of yellow and do that on the opposite side as well. I am noticing that that is more full than us because that's fell down. So I'm going to glue that up a little bit. So just use one of the leaves and glue this and glue it down so it sticks and stays on so that you get the real nice look of it being quite boho. And you could hang loads of lovely ribbons from this, have these as, as wedding pieces, look really, really pretty. Um, so now I'm going to add the roses. I'm going to add the rose there, I think. I'm going to add a bit of glue. Need another glue stick. I'm just going to press that down. Nice and hard to fit. But these would be a really nice gift. If your mum's into things like this, hang it lovely on a shed or something, you can make these for Mother's Day. It would be really cute. And I've got a little white flower. I don't know if that just is going to look a bit weird having that white flower. I like things in odd numbers as well, so I like that there's three flowers. Um, shall we pop that one in? I feel like because it's in the corner and it's white, I could put it over the back a bit, I suppose, in the middle. There. I don't know. Yeah, I'll pop that over the back. Another blue stick. Pop this one over the back. See what this one looks like. It's like a little lotusy type flower. Yeah, that looks quite nice because when that's lifted up on the leaf and hung on the door, that'll look really, really sweet. And then we've, all we've got left now from our bunch is like little twigs and a few more little pieces of yellow. So I think I might add. No, do you know what? I think it looks quite nice without the yellow. I don't want to add too much on it. I'm gonna let that dry, kind of open that up a little bit. I think that looks really, really beautiful. And then last minute, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of jute, put it up around the top, tie it off together. And obviously tying the, the jute around this was really simple. I just held onto this, tied it into a knot, and just as I was holding it, was just bringing it round, wrapping it nice and tightly round, didn't glue none of it down. Oops, that's one. I'm going to trim that. And there you go. A beautiful spring wreath to hang on the door, and it's cost you £5 to make. So I just thought that was really, really cute, and you can probably add more like sort of like bunches to this. You could fill this up completely. I know that Mrs. Hinch has got a really beautiful wreath on her door at the moment that looks absolutely stunning. It's really large, full of hydrangeas. This would be the same concept. You wouldn't even need to wrap this. You could just use a pool noodle or you could wrap it in ribbon, something cheaper that you're not, because you're not going to see it. Um, and then just add loads of these flowers. 
So this is done a bottom half of these. So you could do a wreath this size with another bunch. So it cost you maybe ten pound with a really full on spring wreath to have on your door. But I just really love this. It's going to look really beautiful. I'm going to hang this on my front door, and I just think it looks really really sweet. So five pound car steering wheel, bunch of flowers from Home Bargains. So yeah. A really really quick craft today because I feel like I've done so many videos this week and I've bombarded you too much um, but I am going to be doing more crafts next week I've got a few Easter crafts coming up which I'm really excited about and um, tomorrow's video will be a little boys bedroom update because Millie's chair is actually being delivered tomorrow long story I will explain when we do an um, uh, update with Millie's room I'll also show you the rug that we bought from Ikea that is in the living room in tomorrow's video I'll show you a few little updates of what we've done and um, but Millie's desk, we bought her, bought her a desk from Ikea, it's the same as the boys, but it's slightly smaller to fit in her little alcoves that she's got. And then we bought a chair. The chair was beautiful, it was pink and it had like gold legs, it was a swivel chair. But I had no idea that it was 80 centimetres deep, so it was absolutely huge for our room. And because it had armrests, it wouldn't tuck under the desk. And for such a tiny little box room, it just was not fitting. So we sent that back and we're having another chair being delivered out from Ikea, a white swivelly one. So when that comes, obviously I will show you that because at the minute she's just got a little stool under there so it isn't completely finished. So I'll show you the boys' room, I'll go have a little run through the drawers. So I've had a little organise, I'll show you what I've got in the drawers and what's new furniture they've got in there. So I'll update with that and show the new rug in the living room. Um, so I'll show you that tomorrow's video because like I said in the video before, I know some of you don't follow me on my Instagram and I show bits on my Instagram but then I sort of don't show them on here. So tomorrow's video is a bit of a random one but I'm just gonna show you a couple of updates because if you've seen my home tour, then you can see the update of the boys' bedroom. And because um, they've just got a bit bigger now, they've run out of space, you know, they needed some more storage in their bedroom. Bertie had chewed their Union Jack rug that they had, so I didn't want to spend loads of money on getting unnecessary things that I didn't have to get. So I thought, IKEA's really reasonably priced stuff, get them some furniture, funk it up a little bit in there, and then perhaps give it a little paint. I didn't even need to give it paint in the end, it looked really nice on its own, the nice hoover, a little clean out and organised, so... Yeah, so I'll be showing you that tomorrow if you want to stick around and see that. Also, Friday I'm bringing a try-on haul, and Saturday I've got a really exciting haul coming up. Um, I can't say what it is, but I can't wait for Saturday to come, and that will be uploaded. And um, yeah, so take care, have a lovely rest of your week. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Bye!